Hey everyone, it's Amy, and today I'll be showing you how to do these hand-painted flowers, perfect for spring. So I have her nails prepped, filled, and ready to go. And the first color we're going to start off with is Kira Sky's Main Squeeze. It is a super pretty pastel yellow color, perfect spring yellow. And I'm going to paint this on all of her fingers. And in case anyone is interested in the nails I'm wearing, I will leave a link in the description box down below to this video. It is a floral stamping set that I did. It's kind of a transition from winter into spring. And I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of the yellow as well. And so here's what that beautiful pastel yellow is looking like. And now let's get into the flowers. So as always, I'll be using my favorite detailing brush, my Minty Zero from Midi Burns. And then we're gonna start off with using Madame Glam's Perfect White for the flowers. And I will go ahead and insert my inspiration picture here. Now she, well actually I don't know who it is. I, they didn't leave their name on the picture. So he or she, whoever did this, did flowers on all of the nails, we decided to only do the two middle nails. So I just kind of follow along and do that general five petal shape for the flower. And then I do one kind of off the nail to make it look like the pattern is continuous. Next, I'm going to go in with Madame Glam's Pure Cloud, this really nice soft baby blue. It's not quite as light as a baby blue, slightly darker than a baby blue. And I'm going to use this color to add some detailing and some color to the flowers. Next, I'm going to go in with some green acrylic paint. This one is from Anita's. This is their Hunter Green shade. And I found that this one wasn't as dark of a green as I wanted, so I mixed this with some black acrylic paint to create the perfect color for the stems and the leaves for the flowers. And now, lately I've been doing most of my designs in gel polish, but for whatever reason I decided to pull out my acrylic paint. I used to do all of my designs in acrylic paint. And it's actually a little easier to get some finer lines, some finer detail lines with the acrylic paint because it's not as thick. Next, I'm going to go in with this tangerine color from Delta Ceram Coat, and I'm going to use this for the center of the flower. And now going in with some black, this one is again from Anita's. I have this giant bottle. I have one of black and white just because I use it the most. And I'm going to add some more detailing on the flowers. And I do apologize that quite a bit of this design, my thumb, was in the way of the flowers. So I do apologize about that, but I hope you enjoyed a nice close-up of my navy blue thumb. And now I'm going to go in with some of Light Elegance's Losing My Impatience. This really nice soft sparkle color. It has a pink base to it, but if you apply it thinly enough, that pink base doesn't really show through. It's more transparent. 
And so we wanted a little bit of accent of glitter, but we didn't want something so overpowering that we would take away from the design. So this was the perfect little sparkle touch. I painted this on her pinky and her pointer finger, and then we did leave the thumb plain yellow. And now it's time for top coat. Today we'll be using my Young Nails High Gloss Gel. And so here is how her nails came out. They are so pretty. I love this set. She pulls off this like pale yellow color so well, a color that I would never personally wear too much of, but she pulls this color off so well. These are perfect for spring, and it gives you a little bit of difference. I know in my last video, I did a stamping tutorial for flowers, and this one is hand-painted. So it kind of gives you an idea of how you can do both either or the stamping or the hand painting it's just a different look personal preference and depending on the day so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye